All right, folks. I have my 1 a.m. pack of cards. Top of the hour. Let's all take a guess on who's in there, and if they win, they get something. Baseball? Yeah. Did you guess the player? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Latroy Hawkins. No, it's 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 2019. It's 2020 oh. packs. Adam Eaton. Brett Gardner. Um. Adam LaRoche. Buster Posey. All right. Buster Posey, first card. No Shut way. Up. Swear to God. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> That's unreal. Who's I mean, what the fuck? Who's the second card? What the fuck? Oh, Ryan my Chris. God. What the fuck? We got David Blaine Cat. <laughs> what the we fuck? We have now reached the witching hour, everybody. Dude, someone ask me another thing that I can predict. Someone ask, quick, quick, quick. Uh, Big Cat's a witch. Quick, quick, quick. Uh, he's, a witch. He's, a witch. he's a witch. He's a witch. He's a witch. He's a witch. Lottery numbers for tomorrow. Wow. No, no, no. So, no, wow. no. Wow. Think, uh, sh Look at that. Someone whisper a it number. Uh, Liam, whisper a number to Rudy. <laughs> One to 20. One to 20. Call time out. Call time out. Call time out. That's not the issue right now. Okay. He's a witch. If you're a witch, you would make so Six. much sense. Dude, I swear to God. I swear to God. Dude, I swear. I wonder. Dude, you should announce. Do something else. Do something else. Do something else. Do something else. There's no fucking line. There's no line. I swear to God. I swear to God. There's no fucking line. There's no line. I'm not joking. Me too. I swear my life. Did the camera get it? I hope the mic got it. Did the camera get it? Icon already has been prior to this. The, to, the two girlfriends thing cemented him in stone as a sports icon. What was the two girlfriends thing? He, he just had two girlfriends. He, used to just, he just had like two girls that he was in a relationship that knew about each other and they were just in like this three way like love triangle. Uh, and now Magic City for the wings. And then try to tell people that it was an old picture and that he was reminiscing when he was wearing a COVID mask. <laughs> it's just, it's unbelievable. But listen. Forget about the strip club. I know, I know the feeling of good wings. Like I'll go, f I'll go above and beyond to get my hands on some Rathbones wings. Like when you have your wings spot, you, you can't, you can't be held responsible. You, you, people do whatever it takes to get their wings. So listen, that, I mean, that is the greatest piece of marketing for Magic City of all time. You're looking in for your 2020 marketing campaign. Be like, our wings and our tits are so great that people risk their lives and their career to come here. Done. I was in the area for family reasons. I stop by to get takeout, which is allowed. We do that. I was just going for some wings or some outdoor eating, 25% capacity, whatever. Saw a fellow, uh, you know, rapper entertainer there, like whatever. Said, what's up? That's it. That's all that happened. Unless there's just like video evidence of them like partying all night long, which would be tough. But if you could get away with that, if I popped in right now to get some food and the stoolie wants to take a picture, so what? That's all that happened? If you just have a story that's good enough, funny enough, and you just stick to it and just keep saying, it's what we've learned in like politics and everything in the past couple of years. Just doesn't matter if it's true. It doesn't matter if it's the truth. Just, just say it over and over and over again. And then people just start to go, huh, all right, whatever. <laughs> just, stick, just deny, deny, deny. Uh, you know what we were just talking about? What were you Did you see like the chain smokers thing? Yeah. Um, we were just talking about this. What do you think? is a worse punishment. They have to go and perform again, but they can only use real instruments. Or they do the same thing, but they have to go a cappella. I think most people look at DJs fairly or unfairly, that it's just like, hey, boop, and then people go crazy, and their music plays. So I think if they had to play real instruments, like there's no way, do you think they know how to play real instruments? That's what I want to know. True Taggart one picks up a guitar and like strums it, and then like trots around the stage like he's like Mick Jagger. Yeah. So I think he can play an instrument. That's I don't, I, li I mean, listen, man, like, you can make fun of the chain smokers so the cow come, cow, cows come home. Yeah. I like the chain smokers, but I think a fair, pu like, what do you do? They said they're investigating them. What do you do to the chain smokers? You fine them? Yeah, I think I mean. a fair punishment is you put them up there and say, play your songs. 
no DJ quote. <laughs> That's true, because I don't think there are any laws. In, are there any laws in place where you get in trouble for having a non-social distance concert? I feel like there's not. I feel like it hasn't gone through yet. So like you said, you find them, or everybody just is mean to them on social media, and that's it. <laughs> I think it, almost for them it'd be smarter if they did that to themselves, because, like, you fucked up. Now this doesn't matter anymore, but the video of a, a bear catching a piece of bread. Oh, yeah. They're like, it's one of them where you're driving through, like, the park, and there's a fucking bear sitting there, and they throw it, and he's just like, boop! Yeah. <laughs> one, 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 one of those, like, Yellowstone bears that has yeah. diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's the people throwing baguettes all day, like. I want to be a bear at Yellowstone. And then people just throw food at me. You know what would be funny is that, like, if you got into the Yellowstone enclosure, and those bears probably are pretty benign. They don't probably do much. If you just like hopped over that little enclosure and sat next to it and just caught a couple ricochets. I don't know where you're getting that. <laughs> no way, first of all, bears are not just like, oh yeah, they're like little teddy bears that you can just sit next to. Even ones that are packed with Wonder Bread. And then two, no, you couldn't do that. They would rip you apart. No, there's no chance that thing attacks you. I think it's seen like two million Toyota Camrys roll by it. But then isn't there that documentary about the, the people who spent time with the bears and then they just got, they were like, oh, they love us. We Talk can stick the around. That, uh, that, uh, Grizzly Man. Grizzly Man. One of the best, like one of the fun, discreetly funniest, most sad documentaries of all time. When he's, remember his fox? Spirit. I don't think I ever watched it because I was scared. I mean, like, it's it tragic because he dies and his girlfriend dies too. But don't they? Isn't there like audio of them getting ripped yeah. apart? I'm um, no. Yeah. Audio, yeah. <laughs> but there's one part where he has this like pet fox, and you can't like quite domesticate foxes. You can like 50% domesticate them, but they're like kind of bitches about it. And he's this is one part where like he calls a fox Spirit and it steals his hat. And there's like a 15 minute segment where he just tweaks on Spirit because it steals his hat and runs back to its den. And he's like Spirit. Get back here, that hat is crucial to this expedition. And it's like a 20 minute whole thing about it. It's fucking hilarious. It's great to be back in the office. It's good to see everybody. I wish there were more people here because I miss everybody. You know, it's good to see people. I mean, I, I heard the stat tonight, 20% of the league will be inactive because of coronavirus. I just read that they're, fuck you, Brandon. I just read that they're putting the Marlins on buses to send them back to Miami, all the way from Philly. I mean, it's just a shit show. Cancel the fucking season unless the Mets get good. If the Mets start playing better, then this shit is absolutely legit. As long as the Yankees are playing this well, this is a fraudulent season. Fucking cancel. 500. Oh, I didn't see you guys there. This baseball thing is bad. This whole COVID-19 scare. We got six teams that were supposed to play today on Friday. None of them are playing. Uh, keep in mind, it's one week into the season. One week into the season, and we've already taken six baseball teams out of circulation you got rob manfred being like this team that team you guys are healthy just play against each other just completely going against the schedule uh now they're saying double headers are going to be seven innings so we're going from a 60 game season we're saying fuck it why don't we have 16 playoff teams now we're doing seven inning high school games it's not a fake season it's not a real season it's kind of like a bullshit season so whoever wins congratulations i mean you're you're the healthiest team. That's good. You didn't uh, get COVID. I mean, obviously, if you're winning a championship, so that's great. We hope that everyone's out there healthy. Uh, but as far as baseball goes, it's I'm living the life of the it's fine meme. I feel like I'm sitting in a room that's on fire, and I'm just trying to ignore my problems like every guy does. We just kind of sit there and ignore our problems until they go away. Uh, one week into the Major League Baseball season, and... Six teams. Six teams aren't playing games. One week. What's it going to look like two weeks from now? A month from now? Are we going to finish the season? I have no fucking idea. And that's... That's a scary thought. This golf season, New Amsterdam Vodka wants you to make any hole on the course the 19th hole. Parentheses, Brandon takes big drink. <laughs> it's, it's just closed. I'm just... I, I have to. You have to be drinking while I read the rest of it. Is this a boom mic? Everyone knows there is nothing better than enjoying a well-made transfusion. Brandon takes drink during your round, and now you have the chance to win free golf gear mm. for you and your friends doing it. Brandon takes second drink. Here's what you got to do: from July 5th through September 30th, 
Take a picture of your new Amsterdam vodka transfusion and tag it hashtag 19th hole contest for a chance to win a transfusion bar stool, New Amsterdam vodka merch pack for you and your friends. Brandon, finish his bottle. I'm not capable of doing that. You can also find more details and enter by heading to barstoolsports.com slash 19th hole contest. You want to finish it off? Where'd you leave off? We will be picking winners every single week, 12 total winners, so make sure you get your bottle of New Amsterdam and your Owens Transfusion Mix and enter the sweepstakes. New Amsterdam Vodka, the official vodka of Barstool Sports. Hammered. Setting up for Grip Week 2020, as you see here, shout out to our sponsors, Bud Light Body Armor and Dude Wipes. Uh, we have a 24 hour live stream coming from this room with the part of my take guys on Wednesday. It's gonna be absolutely fucking madness. We got a treadmill coming in. We're gonna have unlimited Bud Lights, unlimited body armor, just crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, dude wipes with the absolute massive setup. Check out this throw. We got a Bud Light throne, dilly dilly bitches. Great week, we do it every year. We usually travel around, whether it's you know the Rust Belt, we've been to the West Coast, we've been down south. This year we're gonna do SEC country. Obviously with the uh, situation in the global pandemic, we were not able to travel. Teams would not let us into their facilities, et cetera, et cetera. But we had a bunch of sponsorship stuff sold already, so we had to think of what's something gritty we can do in-house. And we settled on a 24 hour stream, which like three months ago was, well, was a cool idea and now we actually have to do it <laughs> so it's gonna be uh it's gonna be something i'm i've been thinking about it like how i went to jail and it was like funny for the first like five six hours we were you know having having a lot of laughs a lot of jokes and then like between like 1 a.m and like 7 a.m it's just true torture misery pain now that it's the eve of the live stream it's actually become an issue because I realize I have to stay awake for 24 hours, I have to be on camera, I have to be engaging for 24 hours, and I have to drink 24 beers in 24 hours, which uh, I'm still not clear about how healthy that is. It's probably not healthy, but I don't know if I'm gonna do damage to myself, if I'm gonna get drunk. I really don't know how it's gonna shake out. I would rather be Billy. I think that Billy has the easiest job, which is he just has to run 24 miles in 24 hours. On a treadmill. On a treadmill. That's easy. I would break it up into groups of four, I think. I think I'd do six runs of four miles over the course of the 24 hours. That's 24, right? So how did you deliberate like what you, how you guys are gonna divvy up? Because Big Cat's what got 24 hot dogs, which honestly is a layup. It's pretty simple. So Big Cat likes hot dogs, I like beer, and Billy does whatever we tell him to. Also, I was kind of surprised nothing from Hank. I thought he was gonna go 24 hours Call of Duty. Maybe 24 kills. Hank should take the SAT 24 times. Or he has to take it until he gets a 24. On the ACT. Where's the ACT? Which one is that? That's college? Zero through 36. Zero through 36. Yeah. He has to take the ACT until he gets a 24? What kind of questions are there? There's reading, math, writing, and science. The science is Those are Hank's tricky. school worst subjects. Writing is optional, but most colleges suggest you do it. But like exactly 24 is tough. Because Oh yeah, doing exactly 24 would be right, impossible. because like every two or three questions makes a difference. There's hundreds of questions total. The I would say 24 or above. Right, that's Counts for Hank. Yeah, yeah. ACT sample questions. Let's see here. What is the sum of the first four terms of the arithmetic? What is the sum of the first four terms of the arithmetic sequence in which the sixth term is eight and the tenth? No way is Hank getting these. If I see it in person, I can I do that. If I have paper. George has four sets of socks and four sets of shoes, normal. Each pair has a different color, white, brown, black, and blue. If George selects a pair of socks and a pair of shoes at random, what is the theoretical probability that George will choose a white pair of shoes and a pair of socks that are not white? You lost me. So a pair of shoes would be just on the white shoes would be 25% of the time. He would choose the white shoes. And then of that 25%, 75% of the time he would choose the socks, they would be not, not white. So what is 75% of 25%? Three quarters of 25 is... It's not. What the fuck? It's like... 
So you do get a calculator. You get a calculator. My brain is the most powerful calculator of all time. 24, 25 divided by four is approximately 6.25. So 6.25% chance. Yeah. So, so then 24, 25 minus 6.25, 18.75%. Wait. But it asks for the probability, which is a fraction. You're giving in that in oh, percentage. Yeah, oh. so fuck, fuck this test. <laughs> yeah, all right, so 18.75% is equivalent to... That's like one-fifth, basically? I mean, that should be multiple choice. No yeah, multiple so choice. let's see. Let's see, it's around one-fifth. So it's not a quarter... Is it, I it's really, point one eight seven five would be the answer, right? That'd be a decimal, but if they're asking for a probability, that probably means... No, that's the, they're asking for the decimal. Oh. So let me guess this. Got it right! Okay. <laughs> I'm a math guy. That probably took me like five minutes longer. I can't remember the last time I stayed up for 24 hours nonstop. After beer 12, when it's midnight, and I look down at my case and I've got 12 beers left, I'm either going to throw up or pass out. It will slow me down mentally, physically, spiritually. But I did hear somebody say on the radio today that there might be some bartering allowed. So, for example, I could you maybe, can trade a hot dog for a beer. Maybe I could trade a beer for a mile or a beer for a hot dog. Starting at noon tomorrow, going until noon on Thursday, and then we get a short break. We're recording part of my take right afterwards. I'm sure that'll be a great episode. If we're all alive, we're going to be pissed off at each other. If part, if part of my take survives this 24-hour live stream without breaking up, that'll be a shock. Someone's getting fired. It's gonna be Billy. Billy's gonna get fired. I mean, my strategy is just do it 10, uh, six mile per hour segments of whenever I have free time, and I'll definitely, you know, have to just do four hours of that to get to four hours and a little to get to 26.2 miles. And uh, that's my strategy. I'm gonna divide it up throughout. And like, so for example, when we're watching movies, which is we're gonna do at one point, I'm just gonna walk the whole time. And I think we're watching two movies. So that's gonna nail it. Um, I'm concerned about uh, calorie intake and hydration. The thing is, I'm gonna be doing these like within like three hour intervals. So I'm gonna have to take showers, and probably eat some hot dogs with Big Cat. But it's gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be able to say that I did a marathon. Oh my god, farts. I had a huge breakfast this morning in preparation for the beer, but I'm gonna be drinking a beer an hour, so that alone. Me personally, I'm gonna fart 3,000 times in 24 hours. I mean, listen, I've, I've shared hotel rooms, I've shared vans, I've shared all kinds of spaces with Hank and Big Cat. And so there's really not there's no body noises that can come out of any of their orifices that'll surprise me by now. It'll be fun though to see Hank once he starts getting sleepy and he starts doing his Hank yawns. Where he goes. <laughs> I'm used to it and I kind of love it, but it'll be shocking for America to see. Big Cat, do you have a strategy for the hot dogs? No, just eat them. Eat them? Just look and eat them. I don't, I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna go back and forth with how many uh, buns I eat. We'll see. Okay. Over under at 15. If I were you guys, I would have got it. For buns? Total. Yeah, Total. Sure. Wieners. Wieners? Oh, I'm eating 24. Are you serious? Okay, here we go. What, what, what was the last time you ate? <laughs> uh, I had breakfast. Well, I don't know. That's that so <laughs> many fucking hot dogs. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm not hot dogs are delicious. Are we live? <laughs> like, this is how I'm going to walk. Welcome to the Grit Stream part of my take 2020 Grit Week. I'm Jake Marsh. I'm going to give you a tour of our crib for the next 24 hours, noon today until noon tomorrow. We will be in this room and other rooms throughout the office. So first things first, we bring it over to Mr. Commenter, Hello, who is at his beer throne. Yes. This guy right here will have to drink 24 beers in 24 hours, uh, one I, at the top. I, I, oh. I get to drink 24 beers in 24 hours because there's nothing like a crispy Bud Light. I always say, only thing better than a Bud Light is 24 of them. Back to you, Jake. No, you're you're not, even, you're you're not it go faster. You can walk this. Walk. Just walk. I'm trotting. He's, he's pretending that he's going fast. Walk. Just walk. No, just walk. Look how slow he's going. <laughs> I got a lot of time. <laughs> you're trying. 
just walk this. I'm, this is my warm up. I, I gotta roll out and then do games and then we're gonna get really going. I'm doing three six mile per hour, eight mile like set things. I It'll plan it all. Just that we waterboard instead of this. And I, I'm beginning to think that might be a good idea. Mm -hmm. All right, please. Just 24 hours of, of non stop waterboarding. Exactly 10 miles left, everybody. I'm gonna go take some freaking crazy pre-workout and hopefully it's war zone time. I've been running on and off for it's 350 for about three hours and 50 minutes now. I've done 13 miles. Big thing for me right now is my calf. It's giving me a little trouble. Um, I'm having a little posterior chain tightness, um, but a little chafing with the dude wipes, dude powder. It's actually really awesome. Where's the chafing occurring? Um, my gooch is pretty bad right now, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna make it. The finish line is in sight. Morale is high, we're only four hours in, which is crazy. I'm hoping that once I get these miles done, I can just start tacking that Bud Light fridge. That's what's really getting me going right now. And I won't feel bad about doing it because I just ran a fucking marathon. I can drink whatever I want. I'm p picking up good miles here and there, just walking, 4.5 miles per hour. I range, depending on what I'm doing, I'll go like up to 10 miles per hour at the end of runs. <laughs> That's allergies. Corona, you don't sneeze. Um, but yeah, just getting it going. Fuel, the electrolytes are actually kicking in. I'm definitely feeling like I can go the full marathon and not just 24 miles. Billy, 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 finish strong, Billy! You can do it, Billy! Let's go, Billy! You can do it! Let's go, Billy! You can do it, Billy! Let's go, Billy! Finish strong! Let's go, Billy! Finish strong! Come on, Finish strong! Come on, Billy, you got this! Yes! Let's go, yes. Billy! Here it is! Yes! You did it! Hey! <laughs> Billy! Yes. What a yes. piece! Billy did it! Be. Unbelievable! Sure, right here. Right here. Have, some, your have some uh, body armor. Here. What do you got to say to the people, Billy? Get, a, get some body armor in your body. <laughs> Let's go down the stream. <laughs> Billy! Here, bro. Hydrate up. Have some body armor. Dude, shower. I don't trust a drink from Rome. <laughs> Billy, smile for the camera. <laughs> Dude, shower it. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. No yeah. worries. <laughs> Billy just casually ran a marathon. Casual. Yeah. What a finish. Finish stronger than you started. You're Billy's whoop beast. told him to stop running, and he was like, "I'm I'm stronger than the machines." <laughs> Billy, I don't want to. I don't want to. It is. Can you make me a hot dog? <laughs> <laughs> Ready to, you ready to crush some chocolate? Dude, honestly, this is so sick. <laughs> 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 Dude, that's that's so sick. Like this is so, like I like have this crazy endorphins rush. <laughs> Dude, Billy could have jogged across the finish line. He could have crawled across the finish line. He could have waited for the finish line to be in like half of a day. But he said, "I'm gonna do it all right now, and I'm gonna do it in a dead sprint." He left it all on the treadmill, blood, sweat, tears, beers, everything is there. And Billy just put on a show for us. All right, so let's, let's do some sabermetrics real quick. Okay. It's 7.55, uh -huh. so we started this at noon. Uh -huh. So how many? Just under Just under eight, eight hours. hours. But he, he finished what, like three, four minutes ago? Uh -huh. I don't want to shortchange middle. So about like seven hours and we'll call it 50 minutes. 50 minutes. So that's how many minutes in total? 60 so times. 60 times 7 oh, is 420 plus 50 is 470. 470 minutes. And then he ran 26.2. So 470, 26.2. So Billy averaged an 18 minute mile despite the fact that he was just like hanging out with us for half the time. Just got to St. Louis, got to the course. First thing you notice, everyone is rigs. Well, first thing you notice is that you shouldn't tuck in. Second of oh. all, every, everyone's rigs. Straight eyes, because that rigs didn't get the surgery. Probably bald. 
bald, and just whack. They're but all fucking rigs. Look at those rigs over here. Just a bunch of rigs. Rigs has a look, like a, you know, a little straight edge like that. That's how they all look. I'm gonna find out if he was cool or not at home too. Absolutely not. <laughs> I want to find. Out. I want to find out what old rigs. No like. idea what you find out. <laughs> I want. I want to hear some stories today. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. What did you call him, Sam? No one called you Bozo, huh? Not till. Uh, that was awesome. That was yeah. more the hockey. Yeah. That was more the hockey, hockey than like hockey college. Type yeah. yeah, yeah. And rigs, you just like made up yourself. Yeah, correct. <laughs> it's so sick. What a move that. Yeah, is. you like that? <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Don't let, him, don't let him fool you, it's his middle name. It is my middle name. <laughs> yeah, but it's still like, you just like, no one ever called you that. Almost nobody Actually, probably, nobody right? Nobody I ever had. Nobody ever called me that. Ever. Well, it's smart funny. Smart crazy. Dude, K. Marco, <laughs> smart. K. Marco's like, hey, we're making your account to blog. What, what are we, I need to know now what the name's going to be. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, this is what everyone's going to like, this is just what you're going to be known as. You know, what is it? I'm like, I, I don't know. He's like, okay, you got to give me something. I was like, I, my middle name's Riggs, and it's kind of cool. He's like, all right, it's Riggs. I don't know, that was it. I don't know if you'd be where you are today if you weren't Riggs. That's if like, you were Sam, you'd be like, <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here. I'm not the golfing golf with guy. Sam. The golf guy, Sam. I was like, my middle name's like kind of cool, Riggs. He's like, fine. That, this is a cool care. middle name. Yeah, right. And that was it. My middle name's Raymond. <laughs> That's so sad. Me? Really? Yeah. Is that yours? I'm Marty Jan. Marty Jan's good. I'm Marty Jan. Still seen live cam. Um, yeah, with this fucking I idiot. Don't know. Look yeah, at these rigs right here. You can't tell me those aren't two rigs. They all walk with They're their, all rigs. Their ass is high like rigs. Everyone's ass. Is Everyone's high. rigs. We're in St. Louis. Let me see. Rigs. Not rigs. Can't be rigs because that's a girl. Two rigs. Five rigs. Three rigs. <laughs> Holy shit. You went from one to two to five. I'm saying five, and then I got a group of three. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of rigs. Well, that fucking guy who's like six five, three hundred, whatever. He's fucking jacked. We saw his swing. He goes back. He's like the long drive guy. Let, show him this swing. I might have pulled my oblique out. Right <laughs> show him how he swings. So we're we're gonna try that for our long drive. We're gonna try and do the fucking John Daly all the way back crush. And if I think if Marty makes contact, it's going 350. I can't wait to try and hit it. <laughs> that was a practice one. That was a practice. <laughs> Yo, that was whacked for a practice too. Keep your head down on the ball. All right, no more practices. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I can't even, I don't even get a swing! Where'd it go? Where'd it go? This shit went to Mars! Oh no! Those are rental clubs. Sorry, St. Louis fucking I think they're owned clubs now. Bro, that shit went far! It's not good. Is it gone? Bro, I don't know where it went. Is it right there? That was unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, remember, you have to present it, too. You have to plate it. Bill, you have to plate it and present it. It's it's like, so bad. It is, that tastes, it tastes like an old shoe. Wait, I, I'll be honest, like, when I was Billy's age, I would just pour beer on, like, you, you grill chicken. You pour a beer on the chicken on the grill. Are you going to use this for steak, bro? Yeah. All right, well, can I put it on simmer for a while? He's changing your heat, PFP. Don't touch my heat! <laughs> he just put it on a simmer. He just dude, he's got his own thing. Don't touch my heat, Billy. No, dude, it's a shared heat. This is gonna this is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> Billy took Billy took the top microwave. Billy took the good oh, microwave. You can reach the box. You like, can reach shut the, the fuck microwave. up! Shut the fuck up, Billy! You shut the fuck up! Get the kids microwave, bro. How much time left, big guy? We have 90 seconds. Ah. I'm giving you the 90 seconds. There's 90 no. seconds. So, the stopwatch is started. So I have, I have a Where's the knife? Where's the knife? Well, no, you, can, you explain it after, Billy. You have to make sure everything's plated. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Alright. PFT, come on in. He's got his hands up. What I've prepared today for the judges is a cheese steak in the style of the Philadelphia region of the United States. Presented on a nice top seated bun. I've got a Annie's mac and cheese powder reduction mixed with, I believe this is a Kraft. Natural Mexican. Um, I, I presented it in a rustic fashion, ah, so mm. it's somewhat deconstructed. Like <laughs> yeah. So uh, here you go, big cat. That's Thank for you. you. Thank you. Uh, oh, and it's now, very rustic. Yeah, it's extremely <laughs> rustic. I served. Um, I round steak, sliced, served over a fettuccine Alfredo variant with <laughs> Chick Fil A sauce, dabbed. Put with a nice little memento to show the love that's put into this meal. It's a smiley face. <laughs> with a 12.9 total score. <laughs> total balls. <laughs> Billy football. Wow. And our champion tonight, Mr. PFT commenter with a 14.1. Wow. That's close. That's close. Congratulations to both the Shake my damn hand. Well, All right, I'm curious. Start. What was everyone's scores? Let's go down the line. That's close. Hi, um, Dave. A 2.2 to oh. PFT and a 2.1 to Billy. Okay. <laughs> Hank gave a 3.9 to PFT and a 3.2 to Billy. Ron, do you remember what you won? I gave a 4.8 to PFT and a 4.7 to Billy. Very oh, wow. Good stuff. Yeah. Really good stuff, both of you. And Big Cat was a 3.2 for PFT and a 2.9 for Billy. So PFT did win unanimously. Okay. You know what? I went in with a plan. I executed. I did what I could with what I was giving. Yeah, I mean, at least I didn't uh, half-ass a Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> I mean, what was that? What? What'd you say? Did you half-ass a Philly cheesesteak? I didn't half-ass a Philly cheesesteak. You half-ass a Philly cheesesteak. Cheese cheese you didn't use fucking salt. I didn't use salt. You're afraid of flavor. God I fear you would spit in your face. He call you. I coward. salted. He call you. He told you to go back to Mayo Town. For all you trash golfers out there, we're here for you. When you're playing with someone that's like all golf hardo, we're gonna tell you how to play with them and just be a scumbag. That'll play. You know, we always say, you, are, you know what? That'll play. That'll play. Yeah, that'll do. That'll play. Do not let other people see your shots. I know where my ball is. It's in my pocket, so I can drop it wherever I fucking want. Oh, God, that's, bang. That's a drop. You're in the fairway? Bang. Never saw a fucking thing. Wait, Sam, this is He's got it! Oh. Bingo! Oh, I knew it was right there. Good boy, let's get out, bud. Get out. Get out. Johnny! This is good? Alright. And that's a par for you, par, boys. Baby. That's hey, a par. Go. Yeah, par. Up 20 bucks. Woo. Ringo! 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 Ringo!
Dodge <laughs> Rover. Oh, you're tough. I'll leave it much. short. Fucking sandbagging motherfucker. Right in the heart. God, if he rolls it. Like if there's, if there's two a year, and all the same. Oh, okay. Go! Oh, Hustle! St. Louis, bagged up. You look like you're in the bag. I'm a little bit buzzing, Tim. But it was a great day. Don't worry, I'm a professional. Great day. Uh, we got lost. We got lost like 64 times. Our cart went off. But you know what? I'm gonna say it. We killed it again. There's a reason we're coming back to Boston. And we're playing in that shit. I'm with my dad and my stepmother and Marty. That's the foursome you wanna have a fucking eye on. We'll see you in Boston. Man, I had a tremendous night of sleep. I went to bed about 9.30, I woke up at 8.30. I woke up and I had DMs about Tim Allen. Apparently they made Tim Allen trim last night. I had no idea about that. Have you guys decided on your celebrity death? No, let's do that right now. Tim Allen. Brandon Walker. Lisa Kudrow. Kudrow. All right, let's do Tim Allen. All right, so like you need to get people to just start tweeting the name Tim Allen. Yeah. We really need him trending number one when people wake up. Like, what the fuck? Just Tim Allen or RIP Tim Allen? No, no just, just Tim, Tim Allen. Allen. So when, when people wake White. up, he's trending and everyone won't, no one will be able to figure out why. I had a lot of DMs and stuff in my inbox this morning about the stream. I wish I had been here, but I didn't get, what's the word? Invited? Yes. I feel okay. However, I believe Jeff D. Lowe is a very crafty trivia host and has been able to put together some questions and answers that will, that will lean the way he wants them to lean. Dead. All right, let's Dead. do it. Trivia time. I'm gonna tweet out the link. Oh, we got the beige god. Yep, I'm all beige fit. <laughs> we're in bird dogs, so I forgot I didn't have underwear to put on the beige pants. Uh, so we're going beige shorts. Uh, we have a very unbalanced but interesting matchup here today. We have 30th match of the dozen, Brandon and Billy against the rest of part of my take crew, Big Cat. Hank making his debut, PFT and Jake. Paul Johnson and Georgia Tech. That is incorrect, other side, potential big steal. Brandon's strongest category. He just literally I said the answer out loud. God damn it! I wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. No, no, he said the Georgia Tech guy's name. Well, I only know their stadium's Bobby Dobb. God damn it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bobby Dobb, yeah, there we go. Bobby Dobb, right? Bobby Dobb. Bobby, Bobby yeah, Dobb, Georgia, no, Georgia. Georgia Tech. He so said. Is that your front answer? No, no. He's seated. No, can I don't know. That's the only thing I can say. Can I try another guess? Sure. sure. Okay. You didn't answer. What did he say? What did he say? What did he say? Proceeded. Proceeded. Paul Johnson, Georgia Tech. You answered five. Four. It's a generic Johnson name. Three. Uh, William Johnson. Bill Johnson. No, no. No, George, wait. Georgia Tech. They want that? It's Pete Carroll. Oh. oh. Pete Carroll. Ooh, okay. Bobby right. I think that's true. Oh, you gotta flip your. You gotta give yourself two points. I looks like Bieber too. Am I red or white? Red. Red. No, the second one. It's not Bieber. Right, Tilda we're, Swinton. We're gonna go Billy Bob Thornton and Jane Lynch. <laughs> Incorrect. I'm, I'm gonna go over for this. Fifteen entire. seconds. Can I have the paper? Side. It's early. It's very early. Jane Lynch and over. James Franco. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. He's it's so James. confident. So no, no, it's Jane Lynch and one of the Franco brothers. And I think it's James. He's so confident. That's our answer. answer. That's our answer. James Franco and Jane Lynch. Yes. It is Dave Franco what and Jane fuck? Lynch. The oh, wrong oh, Franco oh, brother. God. Oh, 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 we gotta help ourselves. Yeah. We're like, no. Billy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, giving Billy <laughs> <credit>. <laughs> I'm giving Billy personal credit. I'm giving him personal credit. You're gonna use the less popular Franco? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give you personal credit. <laughs> this Billy is known for his roles in movies such as Back to the Future, Titanic, and Twin Peaks. For the win. So you know this? I know it. 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 Hold on, they have they have about 15 seconds. They're, they're running out of time now. They do have a phone a friend as well. Yes, well, they not use their phone a friend at all during this. Does it have to be a Billy? Is Billy the Is it William? Is it William? The question's Billy? famous Billies. Five, do you even Billy four, Billy? three, Billy. 
two, Billy Zane? one, Billy Zane. That is the oh, win. It is Billy so Zane. Shit, yeah. Yes. Man, us mental alphas are going to go do alpha shit. Well, we're going to let them answer. Last oh. one was Empire Strikes Back, Batman, and Brian's song. Star Wars Empire Strikes Back, Batman, and Brian's song. That's the last one. Brent's going to blur the answer out. And probably get punched or something. Billy Ripkin. Billy Kimber. Billy Tibbis. <laughs> Bill Clinton. What are the movies again? Bill Bill Baggins. Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> oh, uh, Batman 89. Billy D. Williams. That's correct. Yes. That's correct. 11 10 final score. Crazy comeback. Falls up short. Brandon. I thought it was the does it. Don't we get to a go to 12? Play us to 12 like a man. Play us to 12 like a man. I want. Let's oh, we're moving to 10 a.m. live next week. We also re radio. radio. Oh. Next week, KB, Frank, and Nick. And then Chicklets will be on next week. Biz, Wit, and R.A. Well, this is the guy right here. This is uh, That's who I wanted. I'm surprised that James Franco looked like. Well, that was close enough. I think that should have counted. Yeah. Also, knew Tilda Swinton, but I, I held it back. Also, like, it's almost impossible to differentiate brothers in a mixed face. I almost blew it. No? I almost blew it by giving him an easy question, but whatever. It happens. You win. We won. All I know is I was told Pick Central is coming back on Monday. It's your show. Do a gambling show. So, I, Rico, Rico Bosco, everybody likes him. Well, not everybody likes him. There's a lot of beef between those three and Rico. I follow Rico Bosco. The right you one? You do not. <laughs> you I'm right looking right now. One. At return underscore of underscore RB. You weren't following him up until for a long time. Interesting. Well, he's following him now. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Get this guy off the line. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. What Get lost, crumb bum. <laughs> Brandon, lost. I didn't realize you Fuck you, Dave. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't have beef with Rico. I don't have beef with them. But I was asked to do a show. Rico's been in in the building a lot, and I've been doing a lot of content with him. So I said, hey, first week, will you come in there with me? And he said, yes, that's that. Now, uh, Blackjack, LaDuca. For seven weeks in a row on the Pick'em Podcast, he would uh, insult me and have negative things to say, and I said nothing. I sent him a text message, Kate. I said, hey, we're on the same team now. You know, let's bury the hatchet. And for anybody, He blocks my number. The Pick'em Podcast. He Can blocked he... your phone number? Yeah, blocked my phone number. Really? Wow, and that's you... that's like girlfriend stuff. That was stuff. the text that's message. girlfriend that stuff. <laughs> so after that, I decided, you know what? Fuck this guy. I'm going to make his life as miserable as I can. And that's my goal now. Big man on campus, haven't seen him, haven't talked to him. And they, they came back, tweeted at me the other day that they it's either him or us. I don't know. I'm just going to do a show. Monday, Pick Central, Brandon Walker, Rico Bosco, Dan Katz, Marty Mush. Hopefully it all gets squashed soon. If it doesn't, I don't give a shit. Fight, 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 okay. fight, fight, not... fight, fight, fight. Don't not... be a little bitch. Blackjack Fletch. LaDuca's not on. Rico's on. Brandon's cut it into the yak. I don't know what it's about, but I'm happy Pick Central's back. It's going to be a big show. Me, Big Cat, Brandon, Rico. I'm excited for it. I think there's going to be a lot of fighting. Where do you stand on the beef? I, I'm i just on the show, you know? I don't, don't be Brandon, a pussy. No, it seems like Brandon's just, uh, Brandon picked his people. Hasn't talked to Blackjack in a while. I'm going to air out all my grievances on Monday. Tune in. There was a cake and, I guess, a cake bribery. He's taking bribes, yeah. It's fucked up. What kind of cake? What are we talking about? Conf uh, Funfetti? Well, I mean, that's what the last guy did. I, you can't just match the last guy and expect to go over him. You gotta come harder than that. So. Ugh. Oh, no, no. You're right. You gotta have a better cake than that. Are we actually gonna shut it off? Here we go. Here we go.
Billy uh, just uh, doing something reckless. Uh, 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 It's just fucking now it's still noon. Love you guys. <laughs> now it's just noon on a fucking Thursday. Love you guys so very deeply. Yeah, we seriously do. No, let's do one last thank you, everyone who watched. This has been a ton of fun. We really, really appreciate it. When we came up with this idea, we were pissed that we couldn't do Grit Week, but we thought this would be fun, and it's only fun because people watch and people interact. So this was fucking awesome. This was, I feel like shit. I think we all feel like shit. Speak for all of us. Yes. But... This was a lot, a lot of fun, and we raised like twenty thousand dollars for the kids. For the kids. Where is? Um, What's going on, Joe? They're gonna try some chips. Are we doing blind taste test? Do you want to blind taste test these up? So wait, can we have a list of what is what? So what is this a, for? A, nothing. Uh, I just I wanted to try them, and I'm on a diet, so I'm bringing the rest in after I tried two chips at home. So one of these is. Pizzeria. No one wait. So no, no, no. We should just blind taste test okay. and just rank them. Yep. You're right. You fucked up. Whose cologne is that? Oh, this one's bad. This is that one's really bad. Which one did I just take? I, I tasted a. I what did I have? like a cheese whiz. What did I just take, Jack? Yeah, that was, you took Nashville hot chicken. What did I have? Yeah. Oh, see, I like that one. You had tacos. That was not good. No, it's Wait, hot. which one? Am I in a different one? Yeah, it's a different one. What am I, am I in? Oh, I like that one. That's just sour cream chip. No? Yeah, that one's good. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, that one's good. Which one? You just tried, you, uh, Big Cat and Nick just tried cheese steak. Okay. Mmm. Whiz Wit. Did you like that one, Roan? Yes, it tasted no, no, like, it uh... Pizza. That's a New York uh, pizza. No, no, no. <laughs> Big Cat did not like the pizza. It just tastes like ketchup. <laughs> There's one. It tastes like a leather shoe. Here you go, right? this, this is the one. This is the best one. A nice shoe. That's the worst one. Yeah. Where... Who <laughs> ridges? Ah. Uh. Oh, yeah. I think I just had the ketchup one. Baked potato? No, none of them are ketchup. I think they all... Ew, what ketchup. is this one? That's uh, California street taco. Oh. I would Bro. say one, is one of those... One Car of those Carnitas. Carnitas street Bro. taco. No, one I, of those are good. Which one the only like? one that was good was the Philly cheesesteak. Yep, steak. that's the only good one. Bro, you're the, you're the voice that matters. Philly cheesesteak. Was it like a real cheesesteak? Oh, no, it tasted more like a... Um, Why do you like them? I hate them. tasted like a... Uh, well, I've also had... Comma. I don't think the pizza one tastes like ketchup. I've had peach flavored Lay's before and they made me vomit in my mouth. <laughs> well, that's just disgusting. Oh, it's a sweet taco. It's pretty good. Completely missed mixed reviews from everybody. Mixed reviews, again, I'm, I'm on a diet. I can't really eat more than one chip. Yeah. Everyone hates these. These are great.